Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are looking at counting the valence electrons in the metal center of a complex. It is important to know how much valence electrons you have because you need that to put it in your crystal field splitting d orbitals and you also need that to calculate the crystal field stabilization energy. So today the aim is to determine the valence electrons of the iron, iron in the complex hexacyano iron 2. So the first thing to do is to look at your periodic table and determine in which group your iron is residing. So we start to count from the left to the right. So we start with our alkaline metals and we go to the alkaline earth metals and then moving towards the right. So potassium is 1 and calcium is 2 and so on. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you can see now that iron, which is in group 8, contains 8 valence electrons. Two of those electrons are in your 4s orbital and six of those electrons are in your 3d orbital. The next step is to determine the oxidation state of your iron, iron in the complex. So we say iron, which is the transition state metal, is our unknown. So we call it X. We know our cyanate has a charge of minus 1, and we have 6 of them. So 6 times minus 1. A whole complex has a negative charge of minus 4. So therefore, it's equal to minus 4. Now we can solve for X. And if you solve for X, you can see it is plus 2, which means we have iron 2 plus ions in our complex. It means that our iron has a plus 2 oxidation state. Now that we know how much electrons, valence electrons are there for an iron metal, and we know the oxidation state of our iron, iron, we can calculate the number of valence electrons that our iron, iron contains. So it's 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. And our iron 2 plus has 6 valence electrons. So we have now no electrons in our 4s orbital and 6 electrons in our 3d orbital, which means we have 6 electrons in our d orbital. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now you know how much valence electrons you have in your d orbital, so you can draw your crystal field splitting of your d orbitals and you can calculate your crystal field stabilization energy.